my name is Sarah and I am a brand strategist here at Hyperchat Social. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you all about how to create a trackable link for your social media campaign without Google Analytics. So this is a quick and easy step that I highly recommend. We use it in-house all the time just to make sure that our clients have, they have links for events, webinars, or sometimes they just wanna share a blog post. And we just wanna make sure that people are actually getting to those pages and converting once they're there. So it's a quick and easy step that makes all the difference when it comes to your campaign. So if you wanna learn more, just keep on watching. So today we're gonna to start off at Bitly. It's a great website that helps you track how many link clicks you get. You do need to create an account, but from there you'll hit create link. And then we'll just need to find a link to use. So for today, I thought, let's just go to the Hyperchat blog and find a recent blog post to promote. Increasing your social media engagement is a recent blog that we wrote that I think would be great to share out in messages on LinkedIn. And so I'd wanna know how many clicks we get from those messages. So I'll just paste that link once I've copied it into Bitly and then it'll give me a suggested title to use in the tool. And so it's just the blog topic title that works for me. So I'm gonna click save and then go to Bitly to figure out how I can copy it by clicking the copy button. And you'll see the link is shortened now into a Bitly link. It looks a little different, but it is the exact same blog post that we saw beforehand. It's just using the Bitly to track how many clicks it gets. So I'll refresh the page. And from there, you'll see that there's been one total click because we just copied and pasted it into our browser. And that's it. There's really not much to it. Just set up a Bitly account and then begin finding those links that you wanna promote and then tracking them from within Bitly. But it makes a huge difference, even though it's a really small step, just to make sure are we getting people to the page that we want to promote? And then once they're there, do we have something in place to capture their information so that we can continue to drip on prospects? Because if people are going to a page and then not converting, maybe you need to do something else with the web page that you're directing traffic to, or maybe you just needed to do something overall. But if you have any questions about your social media strategy, feel free to go to hyperchatsocial.com and schedule a consultation with us today.